hole tucked away in a drawer somewhere. I'll look for it tomorrow. Okay. Hi. Glad you made it in time, General. I guess we're about to find out if these new Minutemen really have what it takes. We've seen a lot of those Institute Pro things sniffing around. Looks like they're getting ready to try to take us out. We've called in volunteers, so we aren't short of people. We'll see how these Greenhorns do in a real battle. I'm feeling pretty good about our defenses, but it sure wouldn't hurt for you to take a look around and uh, shore up any weak points you see. This is Radio Freedom with a breaking report from the castle. Institute Senators are moving on our position. This is not a drill. All available men and men in the area, please.
Listen up, kiddies. The Institute thought they could push us around, and we showed them different. Next time, we're gonna be taking the fight to them, and we'll see how they'll like it. We lost some good people today. You may wonder why you survived and your friend didn't. I'm afraid that's above my pay grade. All I can say is that it's up to us to make that sacrifice mean something. We don't have time to sit around moping about our losses or bragging about winning. We're the Minutemen, gold darn it! And that means we've always got to be ready for the next fight. Let's get back to it, people. That'll show them. They'll think twice before attacking the Minutemen after this. I guess the Institute will think twice before tangling with the Minutemen again. I hear you're working on figuring out how to hit back at those rats. I hope you find a way, and soon. I'd like another crack at them, with the shoe on the other foot this time. I think Preston wanted to talk to you. Maybe he has some good news. Yeah. Hello, ma'am. We've got to get the transmitter powered back up before I can get back to broadcasting. It's time for us to strike back against the Institute. I have some good news for you. Sturge has found a way into the Institute. We can launch an attack whenever you say the word. It's hard to believe they left another way in. Even the Institute can't live entirely cut off from the rest of the world. He's been analyzing that data you brought back. Turns out, it included maps of their whole underground complex. He found some old tunnel that's still open to the surface. Cooling water for their reactor, I think. I figure you can get in that way and secure the teleporter, then use it to bring in the rest of our troops. We fight our way to their reactor, fix it to blow, and get the hell out of there. Do we have enough troops for the assault? Yes, I think we do now. Enough to fight our way to the reactor, which is all we need. Get the details from Sturgis. I'll make sure the men and men are standing by to teleport into the Institute on your signal. I wish more people could see this. Remind them what it's all about. If we want to win the people's hearts and minds, we have to spread the word, the Brotherhood, across the Commonwealth. Still that off-the-record matter I'd like to discuss. Do you have time now? Off the record? That's not like you dance. Which is why this is going to be difficult to say. So I'd appreciate it if you bear with me. When you were first placed under my sponsorship, I had some serious reservations about it. Despite all that, this has turned out to be a rewarding experience for both of us. At this point, honestly, I don't feel like there's anything else I could teach you about being a Brotherhood soldier that you don't already know. It's apparent from your attitude and your actions that you intend to keep those ideals close to your heart. I feel like I'm about to get some bad news. No, not at all. I'm just not very good at these things. Let me start at the beginning. I grew up alone in the capital wasteland. Spent most of my childhood picking through the ruins and selling scrap. When I was a bit older and had a few caps to my name, I moved into Rivet City and opened a junk stand. While I was there, I met a guy named Cutler. We got along pretty well. Watched each other's backs and kept each other out of trouble. When the Brotherhood came through on a recruiting run, we felt like it was a way out of our nowhere lives. So we joined up. I didn't expect your entire life story. I hope there's a point? I'm getting to it, if you'll let me finish. Anyway. About a year after we were posted to the Pridwin, 
Cutler vanished on a scouting op. It took some convincing, but I was able to persuade my CO to let me assemble a squad and search for him. It took almost three weeks, but we tracked his team down to a super mutant hive. Those wretched abominations had slaughtered everyone but Cutler. He should have been so lucky. The mutant bastards used their FEV to change him into one of their own kind. He wasn't Cutler anymore. I had to... It was my duty to put him down. I can't believe you'd do that to him. I didn't have a choice. Ever since Cutler died, I've seen other soldiers come and go. Some were brave, some were honest. Hell, some were even downright heroic. But I'd never consider any of them to be a good friend. A friend like Cutler was. Until now. It's a good feeling, but it frightens me all the same. Having a bond with someone, then losing them. It changes you. I don't want to go through that again. Well, there goes my dream of being reborn as a super mutant. <laughs> Glad to have changed your mind. I just thought you deserved to know how I felt. If you feel that I've overstepped my bounds, I completely understand. Whatever the case may be, I appreciate the fact that you took the time to listen. Today, we activate our nuclear reactor ensuring that we will persevere long after the world above ground has ceased to exist. Ensuring that mankind has a future. We have no desire to interfere in the unimportant details of your daily lives. We simply insist that you do not interfere with the Institute's operations. To do so would result in dire consequences. You may rest easy. Know that the future is in safe hands, that mankind will thrive under our guidance. Hey, boss. I've been hoping you'd stop by. I found you a way into the Institute. What was on the holotape? One of the things in the data you stole was a plan of the whole Institute complex, <laughs> including the older sections that used to be part of CIT. Turns out they're still using an old water pipe that runs out to the river, brings in cooling water to their reactor. Its entrance is underwater and is blocked by a security grate. Also, the whole pipe is labeled high radiation danger, but there isn't any other way in that I can find. So it's this or nothing. That doesn't sound like a very good way in. Sorry, boss. I've been over and over that data. It's this or nothing. I did manage to pull the code to open the grate. So all you have to do is survive the trip. Now, as soon as you get in there, you need to access the main relay control and use this holotape to teleport everybody into the Institute.
Look at all that blood. Choice. Something's out there. Make every shot count. That was something else. I guess I'm still in one piece. Everybody else- Excuse me. So this is the Institute. They could have just held out down here forever. Why'd they need to come mess with us? You're not having second thoughts, are you? No, it's too late for that. They've shown that there's no way for us to coexist peacefully. If it's them or us, I choose us. In any case, here we are. No turning back now. You're gonna need this. It's a fusion pulse charge. Once it's attached to the reactor, it can be detonated remotely. You get that on the reactor, and we can trigger an explosion that'll destroy everything the Institute has ever built. Just make sure we give the civilians a chance to escape before we blow the place. We're not here to commit mass murder. We better hurry. They're gonna realize what's going on before too long. Sergeant, you 
You'd better get to work on this teleporter of theirs. We need that thing running as soon as possible. To pull us back up as soon as we give the signal. And anyone from the Institute who wants out, you let them go. So long as they ain't shooting at you. You got it, boss. 